I have a figure here of Anakin Skywalker and it only cost me 50p. That's right everyone, 50p for this little cool looking Anakin Skywalker. Now, in case you're wondering where I picked him up from, he was found at one of my local car boot sales to you guys in the States, that would be a garage sale. He wasn't alone though, he came with a few other figures as well. So of course, at 50p a throw, they went straight into my bag. Now, car boot sales, and oh, I guess it would be the same in the state with garage sales, are a good place to find items like this, you know, uh, and they're, they're going to look cool in, in my collection as well as anybody's collection, really. So, uh, yeah, what I'd do, I'll give you a closer look at him over on the table, and we'll have a look at the other items that I managed to pick up. So let's take a look at Anakin Skywalker. A nice looking figure, this one. He's got his blue lightsaber there. And he's part of the Infinity Collection of figures, which the Infinity Collection uh, of figures, Infinity 3.0 to be precise, is part of a collection that um, you use with a computer game so basically you need the figure to play the computer game but what a great looking figure this one is and only for a mere 50 pence so that's that's Anakin and he was picked up along with Darth Vader again another great looking figure this one another good pose and what I like about uh, this is he's got a very shiny helmet there <laughs> uh, but yeah another infinity figure that only cost 50p so uh, and he's in in excellent condition nothing wrong with him whatsoever so that was the second one I picked up so along with those two we have the Jedi Master himself, Yoda. And he's actually in quite an awesome looking pose there using the Force. Um, but again, another great figure for only 50p. Remarkable, remarkable. And like I say, these, these are what you can pick up when you look at these car boot sales or garage sales in, in the States, um, 50p. So that's three figures so far at £1.50. Bargain. We have more. Next up, we have another Infinity figure of Luke Skywalker, the young farm boy. And he's, he's in his New Hope outfit there with his blue lightsaber. Again, another Infinity figure in great condition again. All for the mere price of 50p. Oh, just just fantastic, you know, absolutely fantastic. So that's, that's the fourth figure. And we have one more. And it's the princess herself. Princess Leia. Again, from A New Hope. And she's carrying her hand blaster there. Incidentally, that hand blaster was only in the one scene at the start of uh, A New Hope. After that, we never we never saw that that blaster again, which is a shame because it's a nice looking blaster. But what a lovely figure, what a lovely figure, very clean again, so we have her and Luke with the Jedi Master and 
Anakin and Darth Vader there. And these were all for £2.50 for five figures, which is fantastic. You can't complain at that. And like I say, go to your car boot sales and pick up yourself a bargain. So let's go on to the next item. So next up we have Kanan Jared. Now he was seen in Star Wars Rebels um, animated series. And he of course is the Jedi Master to Ezra Bridger. Which I have here that I picked up on my last um, car boot sale. And together, obviously, you've got the master and the Padawan. So when I when I saw him, I, I, I had to I had to pick him up. Now you'll find that they're not always complete. He does, or he, sorry, he does. He he is missing his lightsaber, the same as Ezra Bridger was. But that's not a not a big issue. As I say, they're going on display. I may, I may find a, his lightsaber at another car boot sale in the future. But uh, for now, I'm just happy with this figure itself. And he's very clean again. Not damaged at all. And he was only one pound. It was it was near to the end of the, the, the car boot sale on the day. Um, but uh, yeah. Only a pound, which is which is a bargain. Now that this one normally, um, I, I, I should imagine, sells new for probably uh, ten pound or more. So at a pound, you can't complain at that. So that was that was a great find. So let's let, let's move move on to the next item. So next up, we have the new order stormtrooper clock. This one, believe it or not, again, was only 50 pence. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. When I, when I asked how much, I said 50p. Bang, straight in the bag again. Um, a working clock. I'll, obviously, when you pick these, these up, you've got to um, trust that the people say it works. It does work. It is a gamble, but when you're paying 50p, um, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. That's still a nice piece to to display, and it makes sounds. Why it makes the gun sound, I don't know, because he's not holding a gun, is he? I thought he might have said something, but uh, there we go. Our working clock. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that one. So there. There we are. In fact, this one is called a bulb bot, believe it or not. Didn't even know what they were or what they were called. Bulb bots, ne never heard of them. And the good thing is he does light up. There we go. And at dark, his, his head lights up as well, orange, which is <laughs> which is great. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that one. There we go. So on to the next item. So next up, we have a ship, which is the Slave One, Django's Fett ship. And I was really, really pleased to, to find this one. Um, £1.50. Um, I mean, that's that's crazy money. £1.50. Uh, that, that, that was straight in, in my bag. I, I have been looking for, for Django's slave one ship for for a while now surprisingly enough this actually comes with the rocket there nine times out of ten that that is missing so i was really really pleased when when i see it with with that in there and no one had picked this up I, i'd been at the car boot for for a little while and it was still sitting there what was i say still sitting there i, I hadn't noticed it on on the first time round it was on the second time round. 
so I'm really really pleased I've I've got this one just need to find Django Fett to fit inside there and it will be complete so that was a really really nice nice find definitely definitely picked this one up um straight away once I saw it there, there, there was a few people uh, around the table but bang I just just went in yep that's mine I'll have it how much one pound fifty really bang there you go so that's really nice uh slave one Django fits attack ship fantastic so let's have a look at the next item so here we have Dinjarin. Now, when I first saw this, th th this is a bl Black Series um, figure. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, hang on a minute. Um, someone's been getting fancy with a paintbrush here and coloured it all up. Lo and behold, I was wrong. Because basically, this is part of the credit collection. And he's supposed to be this colour. Why, I don't know. But uh, he had to come home with me. Now, he's got his jetpack on the back there that does come off. And then his cloak goes down. So you could, you know, if you've got a vehicle, you could, you could see him in the vehicle. But uh, I keep his backpack on. Uh I display him with his backpack on. It's just one less thing to lose. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And what a what a really, really nice find this was. Uh, this one was £3. Now I know you're saying, oh, £3 for, for that. But, you know, uh, a new one of these is probably about £12. So £3 for, for Dinjar and in this collection uh, black series was was really great so very very happy with this find that would look nice in my collection and the gun can store in his holster there should should you wish wish to to put it in i did find out that he does uh, the, originally he came with his rifle as well but obviously i'm lucky to get yeah, at least one gun so yeah really pleased with that one oh. Let's have a look at what's next. And next up, we have a group of starships. So we have Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. We have some TIE fighters. And we have some droid fighters there. And we have... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what, what this ship is called. But it's part of the Rebel Alliance group of ships um but yeah now they basically were 50 pence each and i wasn't wasn't going to get these two here i was going to leave those two but the kind lady at the at the um car boot sale said i could have both of these free so basically 50 pence each so i've got one two three three pound fifty and i'll get two figures free which <laughs> is is fantastic and they're they're quite nice actually the the little uh roof opens there if you can see that there you go roof the hatch sorry well, i called it roof um the, the, the hatch on the tie fight is open there and this one's metal uh, that one's metal with some plastic on the side. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with these ones. They're, they're really nice, nice looking vehicles. I'm, obviously, I'm a fan of the Empire. So these were definitely coming home with me. And the Droid Starfighters, I quite like these ones, actually. I, I haven't got anything really from um, the first three films. No, not much anyway um in the way of ships the, the, the these are the first ships i've got from from the first films but yeah no really really pleased with with that that little haul and like i say you know um 
they're, they're not damaged in any way. They're small and, uh, you know, it, it just goes to to make the collection, really. Um, yeah, really pleased with them. So uh, that's them. Oh, oh, this TIE Fighter, there you go, that closes down. Sit, sit like that. These up. There we go. So, yeah, really, really pleased with um, these little finds. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So next up, we have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing fighter outfit. And I'm really, really pleased to, to find this one. He's missing his helmet but he's got his gun so i'll be looking out for his helmet again um really good condition it's it's a bit dirty but that that, that makes it more appealing to me and there's something special about him ready So there we go. Um, what a find! What a find! All those phrases from the actual movies, and it works. You know, it, it's fantastic. I wasn't sure whether whether that was going to work or not, but uh, yeah, really, really pleased with 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 this one. Um, it's a shame missing his helmet, but it's not the end of the world. I'm sure I'll come across the helmet at, at uh, some point. But yeah, this, this again was another find that only cost me £3. That's right, guys, £3 with all those phrases as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, looks so, so good in my collection standing up. Yeah, just, just fantastic, guys. So... Uh, Really, really pleased with that one. Not, not, not bad. Again, he's um, in very good condition. Just missing his helmet, as I say. But yeah, so Luke Skywalker there. Let's uh, move on. So next up, we have Yoda drinks container. This has come from Disney World. Someone's been over there and had some fun and bought this back. This only cost me, uh, was it a pound or? Yeah, I believe it was a pound. Um, nothing at all, a pound. Some was, you know, didn't want it, but I did. Yeah. I won't be drinking out of this. It's nice that, that the cup there's got, got his body on there. <laughs> you see? So you, you put him on there. And there's, his, there's his legs there. But what I like about this is his arms moving, which which is fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, a nice nice piece to, to just have on my side. I, I won't be drinking out of him. It's uh, really nice. 
I like it very, very nicely detailed there. Very nicely detailed. But yeah, so uh, let's move on. Next up, we have C-3PO little plush toy. And uh, I really like him here. Um, only cost me 50p. I know you're saying everything's costing you 50p. But honestly, that's, that's what, what it was. 50p car boot sale. Can't go wrong at that. I am C-3PO. R2, where are you R2? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's a nice little toy. So C-3PO. Let's move on. Next up, we have little Yoda. I, I'm assuming it's Yoda. I'm not 100% on that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to call him Yoda. Yeah, really nice, nice soft toy. I managed to um, pick him up on the way out. As I was going out, he caught the corner of my eye and uh, only cost me £2. So uh, that was that was a nice little late find on, on this one. So yeah, liking that. Let's move on. So finally, we have a little Grogu from The Mandalorian. And I'm really, really pleased with 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 this find. It was three pound, and literally, um, it was a last walk around of the day for me, because I, I like to go around two or three times because you 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 might miss one on the first time round, and lo and behold, I did, and really pleased. He's got a hard head. But he's soft and hard hands. But yeah, a little Grogu. And he's so lifelike, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's a really good find. I know I have seen him in a shop for £15. So at £3, he's a steal. He's a bargain. So little Grogu there. So really, really happy with, with that find. That was... A quite a huge haul that I picked up there and as I said earlier it's places like these car boot sales that you can pick up bargains if you're a collector definitely get get down to to your local car boot sale or, or if you're in the States go to a um, some garage sales because I'm sure you'll be able to pick up at least one Star Wars item there we are everybody and if you're interested in seeing what I picked up at my previous car boot sale please just click on the link at the end of the video so take care everybody and long live the empire